Hi, my name's Joe. I work for Imagination Technologies in their computer graphics division. Um, so what I'm here today to show you is how electromagnets work. So electromagnets are really cool because they are used as the basis of a lot of electronics like speakers and motors. And they can also be used for things like uh, lifting up cars in uh, junkyards and things like that. So the process is quite simple. The materials I have is a copper wire that's insulated. Um, I also have a nail. So this one's made out of steel, but an iron one would be even better. And then I have uh, some objects that are magnetic. So here I have some smaller steel nails. Um, and then to supply, uh, to supply power to this, I also have a D battery. OK, so the process is quite simple, really. OK, so the next step is to take the wire and wrap it around uh, the nail. OK. So doing this experiment, you probably need about 30 centimetres of wire to wrap around a nail that's about 10 to 15 centimetres. And you want to try and make this as the coils as tight as possible so you get a nice strong magnet. OK, that's pretty good. All I have to do is take the battery and I need to put um, one end I need to contact to an end of the wire. So I can just place this underneath the battery here. Uh, before I do that, I'll just show you this nail by itself, even with the wire around it, isn't magnetic. It's not picking up any of this. So sit the battery on there. At this point, I now have an electrical current flowing through here, which is producing a magnetic field around the nail. When I dip it, it can now pick up the nails. I let go, it will drop them. So the reason this is used in electronics is it actually allows you to control how strong a magnetic field will be, or whether it's even on at all. So whereas a standard magnet is always on, this you can turn on or off, or you can have it with uh, different strengths. <laughs>